What's up guys, Scotty here from a Blue Coconut family and welcome back to City Skylines. Today, as like the title says, I'm going to show you how you can make your own um, uh, roadworks in your city. Now this is purely a um, kind of cosmetic thing, this has served no purpose, um, but I know it looks really cool. So what you need to do is you do need a couple of modifications to the game. Um, so I do believe this won't work uh, for console users. So if you're using PC, happy days it works for you, but sorry Xbox and PlayStation users, it doesn't work for you. Um, but what you need is you need a couple of uh, things. So you need, um, I think it's Road Anarchy is a very important one. Um, I'm using network extensions. Now, strictly that's not true. Um, but so Road Anarchy is definitely one of them. I'll link these all in the description below so you can go and have a look at those. Road Anarchy and uh, you need uh, Traffic Manager President's Edition uh, or TMPE. Um, those are essential. In terms of assets and things that I'm going to be using, um, by all means go and find the same ones I did. I'm not going to link them because there are loads, um, but pretty much just search for construction based stuff. There's tons, um, but you do need something that can place them but I'll paste anything that I use down there so it's like the surface painter uh, there's the move it tool if you potentially need it uh, there are tons of things so don't worry if um, don't worry if you know, you're confused uh, I'll post them all in the description below so what you need to do to get started is you need to find a bit of road that you want to have your road works on now for simplicity purposes I'm going to be using this country lane here um, and for this demonstration I might do others in the future I'll show you how to do different styles but for this one I'm going to be showing you how you can make it um, just one um, one lane of traffic get diverted off uh, but the other lane staying on so it might be just a one side thing so what you need to do is first of all open up your road tool now you need to make, make a bypass um, for this um, so you want to be able to create a bypass now the reason why it's allowed me to do this sort of crazy shit is because I've got road anarchy and what you need to do is you need to click on uh, toggle road anarchy and I recommend turning off bending and I recommend turning off mo node snapping everything else should be all good now what I'm going to do is come off at a pretty steep angle and I'm going to have this here just follow fairly close to the road um, to there and then have it while it saves have it cut on. now don't worry too much that uh, the ends look pretty gnarly like that because um, we're going to fix that up. So the next thing you're going to do is you now build your bypass road is I'm going to fix up that with um, Painter. Um, yeah, the uh, surface tool or surface painter I think it's actually called. Uh, and I'm going to add some pavement in here. So what it's going to do is you're going to paint over the area. Now you see that it's actually getting rid of a road. Now that's actually quite a good thing because that means we just get cars just on top there now we want a big enough area that it covers the area and it looks authentic right so that's the bypass road and uh, that's pretty much it done ish next thing you need to do is you need to tell the traffic that uh, not to use the road um, where you are going to be having the roadworks on because it will look kind of stupid and ruin the whole kind of uh, cosmetic um, yeah, cosmetic uh, look if you suddenly have a road uh, have a car traveling through your roadworks and going through your props and things it just doesn't look right so this is where traffic manager comes into place now there are two types two things you can use I'm gonna be using this lane, uh, lane connector but you can simply just use the vehicle restrictions either way it does work um, but lane connector seems to be a little bit more reliable so what you do need to do is using these little uh, nodes you've got here is you need to click on them and you've got a little starting node and you have a net finish node. Now what you need to do is you need to tell any traffic coming from this node to go this way. That's it. And so it basically says any traffic coming here will now go this way and you can already see cars now completing that. Now it's just by chance but that side road is already at a lower speed so we don't need to worry about um, setting the speed limit down there because it already looks fairly authentic. Uh, but I am going to cut the speed limit here on the 90 just because they're going to be going past um, some road work so you need to kind of slow the traffic down so it looks a little bit more authentic going through this section. So now on to making, so now we've kind of got that initial kind of practical kind of look so we've actually physically got the traffic diverting round uh, we're now going to change it so it actually looks a little bit more authentic. Now this is where my assets come into place and the first thing I'm going to do is place some uh, 
what should I do? Should I do cones? I think cones are under this section. Now you can literally make it happen exactly however you want. Um, so I'll be, this is now uh, the true and prop anarchy, so I need to toggle that and it will allow me to then place over the road. Uh, I'm going to get a bigger cone like a trap you go, the traffic pollard. So you want to make this look fairly authentic, so you want to follow kind of where they're kind of roughly going, just like so. Okay, and welcome back. So yes, I've spent a long time going through placing all of these cones and also all these assets. Now I could spend even longer building up fences, building up even bollards around it, uh, making it look the part. Now I expect you guys to be doing that. So if you've made one of these in your city and you are very proud of it, pop over to our Facebook page, Blue Coconut Family, and send us a picture. We will showcase uh, some of our favorite ones when you send them in. Um, but yeah, I think it does the, does the part beautifully. Now you would have seen halfway through there that I had to do, adjust the um, uh, lane tool up here slightly. Uh, that's because I forgot that this is a two way road so I had some traffic which was going down the other side of this one and it was kind of breaking the illusion a little bit. Now just like in real life, uh, roadworks they are causing um, traffic jams. So maybe don't put this in somewhere where you kind of need traffic to be throwing, um, you know, flowing freely. Uh, just place it somewhere where you're just going to make it look pretty. But yeah, I think it looks absolutely incredible. And it's a real nice way of adding something to a city that makes it a little bit more realistic. But yeah, if you agree and you really like the look of this and you want one in your city, hit that thumbs up button and really enjoy it. And uh, if you are interested in seeing other things that I can make in City Skylines and other videos like these, uh, hit the subscribe button. So yeah, that's me really good. Check out any of my other content on the channel. I've done tons of tutorials on various other bits. It's all been really great. I've been Scotty from the Blue Coconut Family. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.